And welcome back to North of the Broad. With me now is Jonathan Haupt. He, as you know, he's executive director of this fabulous Pat Conroy Literary Center. Good to see you again. You too, Robin. Yeah, you had a busy summer with a with the Conroy camp. Oh, yes. And but such you, fun. Yeah, but such fun. The students were great. They, they really, really learned were. a lot. They had great yeah. instructors. Yep. And we've got this book convention, this book club convention coming up September 23rd and 24th. And on the 23rd, it's all virtual. And then on the 24th, we're going to be at the Culinary Institute of the South. Let's start back at Friday and what you're going to be offering. Sure, absolutely. This is the sixth year we've done the Low Country Book Club convention. And the idea originally was to gather all of the many book clubs from all over Beaufort County together so they could meet each other. And rather than just having authors talk about their books, we're talking about the experience of reading individually and collectively. But over the six years that we've done this, this has become something that readers come to, whether they're affiliated with the book club or not. And so the programming is really reflective of that. So uh, Friday, as you mentioned, is entirely virtual. That evening, we'll have Zibby Owens, who's creator of mm -hmm. the super popular podcast, Moms <laughs> Don't Have Time to which Read. I, I love uh, that. Which is great. Uh, <laughs> talking about her brand new memoir, which is called Bookends. Yes. So it's her story, but her story as reflected through the books she's been reading throughout her whole life. So okay, it's a book about books, which I that love. That be very fascinating. I've got shelves and shelves of books about books. Yes. And interviewing her is a writer who is a part-timer on Hilton Head, who's participated in Conroy events before, Lauren Marino, who wrote this book right, right. here, one of my Bookish absolute Broads. favorites from last year, Bookish Broads. Yes. So it'll be the two of them in conversation, okay. virtually live streamed on the Conroy Center Facebook page that evening at six o'clock, accessible to people absolutely anywhere. Yeah, which I love. You know, that's yeah. the one thing we've talked about is the whole COVID experience has brought just people from all over the, the world, actually, knowing yes. about the Conroy Center and everything you offer. And we want to keep connecting with yes. them. So to add a virtual program to what is Perfect. otherwise an in-person event is a way for us to do that. Now, Saturday's a big day. That's it September is. 24th. In a lot of ways. As you mentioned, we're out at the new Culinary Institute of the South, yes. which is a technical college of the Lowcountry mm -hmm. campus in Bluffton, just off of Buckwalter. This is our first time to do an event out there. Mm -hmm. And we'll be offering public tours of that facility as part of the day. So well, anybody who hasn't seen it yet, okay can get a, a guided tour of the whole facility while they're there. And there is a cost if $15, but if you want lunch, it's 40 That's right. We have four authors that day, and, and uh, two of them are speaking during lunch. So folks can attend and bring their own lunch or no lunch for $15. If they want the catered box lunch by Debbie Covington from right here in Beaufort, then it's a $40 ticket price. So how does the, the, the day unfold? Excellent question. So we have a mystery writer coming from um, uh, from Charleston, who's actually written a, a murder mystery set in a book club scenario. <laughs> and her name is Dorothy St. James. She wrote a book called A Book Club to Die For, uh, which is not that's, even out yet. So this okay. will be a preview event for that book. Right. So that's a super fun thing to start the day with. Yes. Then during lunch, we have two cookbook authors to honor being okay. uh, in the Culinary Institute. And one is just catapulted into fame recently. Her name is Emily Meggett. She is the matriarch of Edisto Island, and she wrote a book called mm. uh, Gullah Geechee Home Cooking. Okay. She's in her mid-80s, so to oh become internationally God. famous You're at kidding. this point in her life is kind of a big deal. How did you find her? I mean, through all of your connections, that's I, fascinating. I was yeah. aware of her on okay. Edisto Island, but now the whole world is aware of her, too. <laughs> so this is a real honor for us Great. to get to host her and celebrate her at this moment in her life. She's bringing uh, daughters and granddaughters and family members with her. And she's being interviewed by a dear friend of us here at the Conroy Center and a past guest on this very show, Mary Martha Green, who oh, wrote yes. uh, The Cheese Biscuit Queen Tells All. Oh, so yes. Mary will be interviewing oh, yeah. Emily. They're great friends. So that's uh, going to be a lot of fun. And this is in partnership. The convention's in partnership with Nevermore Books. It of is. Beaufort. So these books are available through Nevermore, both in the physical store here in Beaufort and also through their online presence as well. And then the day of, of course, we'll have books for sale out at TCL. And as I shared with you, it was on the website, your website this morning. It's just fabulous. So um, the, the actual address for everyone that wants to go on and find out, not just about the convention, but everything. Everything the, else the, we do the center is offers. reflected there. Yeah, yeah, what is it again? What is your address? It is uh, our physical address right yeah. here. We're at well, 601 Bladen yeah, Street. But in the website it's address? It's patconroyliterarycenter.org. Or dot. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Great work. Everything that you do for our readers and our writers and our book clubs and have a great convention. Thank you in so September. much. And thank you all for watching North of the Broad and we'll see you next time. Bye.